Okay, so fail fast, move forward. Incidents are now a new normal. They part of the development process. And aware of that, become really prepared. So we are seeing more and more software released to Canary first. Feature flag adoption is growing. Monitoring and observability are our eyes and ears into reality of production. We are using A-B testing to support our decision. And industry leaders are showing us how to shorten feedback from production, how to set up proper alerting. And we know that things are gonna fail. The only question is when. So let's assume that my team really changed the production that caused incident, which affected a lot of customers. So what should I do to learn something from it? What we can do to make sure that this will not happen again? Uh, and you wanna contact blameless incident review. The goal of incident review isn't to point fingers because we are having incidents because we are successful and we have software that is running on production. We have paying customers and users. And the reality is that sooner or later, we are gonna have incidents. We can't, we can't avoid that and we need to be prepared. First step is to build the context of the incident by connecting all perspectives, like software engineers, support engineers, SRE. And uh, we are doing this by building the timeline of the incident. So gather all facts, all events, and to what systems were affected, and everything else related to the incident, like uh, the chat transcription, dashboards, logs, uh, logs that people observed during the incident. And later we can identify cause and effect relationship between events and arrange them. Uh, so timeline is the foundation of the incident review because it's helped to build a common understanding how our organization behaved before, during and after the incident. And uh, the, the draft of timeline is created by incident facilitator, but later all participants collaborate and I add their relevant information. Uh, so it's good to use collaborative tools like classic whiteboard or uh, Miro, uh, but sometimes um, it is really difficult, especially for uh, to create the draft of timeline. So for complex systems, you can use tool that will gener generate you a timeline based on what happened, like the data trace, for example. <laughs> uh, discussion uh, over the incidents are a great opportunity to discover stories behind the incident. And the question you ask are the key to encouraging discussions and making people to feel more comfortable. So the best facilitators encourage conversation through open-ended questions. So don't ask, when did you discover that service is done? Instead of this, ask about how did you notice that something is broken? And uh, it is important that when you are facilitating, uh, look for descriptions, not explanations. And when our timeline is done, we can start looking for causal factors. Causal factors are events or actions or lack thereof, which led to the incident or worsened its effect. And causal factors are mistakes in the process that led to the incident. They are either always or transiently present. And incident is just the, the first point in time when causal factors all combined into a perfect storm. And causal factors alone, they don't cause big incidents. Not enough time for testing, not enough detailed monitoring. Those are examples of common causal factors. And suggesting that those are key to understanding incidents is just misleading. We need to go deeper to find the root causes. Root causes are everything that allowed the mistake to happen and to be ignored. And the easiest way to find the root uh, is to start with causal factors and go deeper with five whys or five hows techniques. So let's imagine that engineer detect a problem, perform a rollback to the previous version and uh, rollback didn't help and they ended uh, breaking stuff even more. 
So when you ask them why they tried the rollback, they will tell you the story behind the procedure in a case where the whole production is done. They will describe sources of pressure, how they coordinated on call. So we can gather uh, all those information about uh, how this actually happened and what conditions allow to it. And the most important is that single root cause of an incident doesn't exist. Systems can be made of many parts that in isolation work perfectly. Still, an incident could happen as a result of weird interaction between the working parts. And we make our system relatively safe from a single point of failure. But often, serious incidents resemble a perfect storm where many bad events happen at the same time, making the whole situation even worse. And successfully minimizing consequences. We don't increase our success by trying to prevent things from going wrong. We do it by making sure that things go right. And quality and reliability are business concepts. So each time when we face incidents, we need to assess the risk and make a decision. Can we handle the same incident twice? So it's important that, to remember that implementing action doesn't give us a warranty that our software won't fail in the future. And it is important to monitor our actions and check does they work. So, but defining actions are optional. And uh, it's better to, uh, to decide that we want to want implement any action than declare actions and ignore them. The only mandatory action is share your learnings. If you learn something new from the incident, share it. Create Jira issue with description, write a blog post or just tell someone. And teaching is an incredible way of ensuring that you really understand what is happening. And building a learning organization is a real way to be proactive. That's how you actually prevent incidents. And last, your systems are failing and incidents are new normal, but it doesn't mean that having constantly broken production is normal. We should build our software with quality and and reliability in our mind. In modern products where, change, where things change, change rapidly, failure is inevitable, and we strive to reduce the number of incidents of similar cause and await for unique problems. So never waste a good crisis and never waste a good incident to improve your organization, team, or product. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kasia. Uh, I, I like the the sort of questions you're looking for. Maybe that could be an uh, an open space session where people share the kind of questions they ask, and you can discuss them, uh, uh, like a heuristics distillation session. Maybe <laughs> sounds uh, yeah. sounds interesting to me. Yeah. Um, I forgot who's next. Let me check. Oh, Camille. Yes. Uh, you need to okay. share your slides. Uh, doing it right now. Um, J 